The Excellence in Leadership Award was established to recognize volunteer leaders of Farm Bureau who have made a significant contribution to Farm Bureau and agriculture in Mississippi. Their contributions have been performed as a result of unselfish effort to strengthen Farm Bureau and to enhance rural life in Mississippi. Robert Naren's family has been farming since the early 1900s. My grandfather even cleared the land west of Cleveland where we presently live and uh, farm there. As a young man, Robert was active in 4-H. I had a 4-H leader, Lowry Dean, which many people I know know him, and he was so active as a 4-H leader for so long. He took four of us young men and worked with us through the summers, going to places, practicing judging, and uh, we won the state 4-H livestock judging contest. We then went to Chicago to the National 4-H Club uh, contest there, and our team won, and I was fortunate enough that year to be the high individual on that team, and the high individual in the nation, and I guess I was one of the most outstanding uh, uh, times of, in agriculture in my life. He began farming full-time in 1968, and got involved with Farm Bureau and the Young Farmers and Ranchers program. Miss Nona Watson was our secretary in the Farm Bureau then, and I know my dad, when I started farming, he said, if you want to become really active in, in farm life, uh, get in Farm Bureau and get involved with Miss Nona Watson, because Miss Nona Watson knew everyone from Mississippi all the way through Washington that was involved with agriculture. and so. She encouraged me in, in my early days after I'd been farming about five years to, to enter into the Young Farmer, uh, the contest for Young Farmer of the Year Award. And my wife and I, we had one young child at that time and we filled out the application and we won. And uh, that was the beginning of a great relationship with a lot of good young farmers throughout the state of Mississippi. And, learning the makeup of Farm Bureau. Throughout his life, Robert has been involved in helping agriculture, including working with U.S. Representative David Bowen to open the acreage control program on rice in the early 1970s. This eventually allowed Bolivar County to become the largest rice producing county in the state. He also implemented many conservation practices on his farm. This just enables you to control the water. Uh, you conserve your water by irrigating and be able to control the, the irrigation of the crop and not use any more water than we have to. We use water control structures to prevent erosion. Robert has been active in many local, county, state, and national organizations that have bettered his life and the lives of all those connected with agriculture and Bolivar County. But Robert says he could not have done all these things without the support of his family. My wife is the number one supporter of me, and I couldn't be done any of the things that I've done without total support from her. She is my rock and my support in everything that we encounter in life. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2013 Excellence in Leadership Award goes to Mr. Robert Naren. Plaque says in appreciation and recognition for your contribution to Mississippi agriculture and that the belief and unselfish commitment to strengthen the Farm Bureau organization and rural life in Mississippi. Congratulations, Mr. Robert. Oh, uh, you know, after so many years in Farm Bureau, it's kind of hard to, you know, know what to say. But when you're elected by your peers to such a quite an honor and fathering so many great leaders in our state and in our county, you know, it's just overwhelming. I thank my family for being here today. I know my children were raised in Farm Bureau, following us around here at the convention and uh, have my daughter and Laura Lee and my son Bob and, and Sid here today with their wives and, and our two grandchildren. And we're just super overwhelmed and, and happy for them to be here with us and to share this. And I just pray that all of you will carry the torch on for Farm Bureau.